Back on Horton Court, Dave Rosenthal, and joining me for the post-game talk today, Natalie Mulos had a wonderful game. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Not bad. Not bad at all. So we saw these guys a year ago. You played against them. Did you see an improvement in the Lincoln Oaklanders this year? Oh, definitely. We did not. I mean, we prepared for them to be better, but we did not. Um, yeah, way better than last year. Yeah, and I think they said so, too. I talked to their coaches ahead of time. They've won four games this year, which I think she said three more than they won a year ago. Mm-hmm. So you guys came out and put on a pretty good show today, though. Thank you. Thank Everybody you. Everybody pretty comfortable out there today? Oh, yeah. We're just, you know, this team is as close as it's been as it's been for years so yeah we like that part yeah and and you can tell when you guys play together you play really well i thought the thing tonight there's a lot of steals going on i fully expected rockland pd to come here and here and rest (laughs) a few of you you guys are swiping the ball left and right yeah so when when you go out and you prepare for a game like this uh, how do you prepare for these games oh it's all week you know our games on saturday we prepare all the way monday through friday we scout them our coach Coaches do an amazing job with scout, and then through practice, we have our guys team come in, and then they play as Lincoln, and then we play against the guys. Yeah, the guys JV come in. Oh, the JV. Okay. Yeah, JV. I I don't want to. I don't want to think of Miles Duncan on you. Yeah, no, no, that wouldn't go too well. (laughs) No, no, because somebody would have to hurt him, and that would be bad news. So Del Oro girl. Mm-hmm. Just down the street. Yes, local. So, so is, is it feel good to be able to play at home? Oh, yeah. It's amazing. My family comes to every game, and it's it's great to be here. Did, did you think of maybe going out of town, or was this your first choice? Um, I actually did think about going to Southern California. I wanted to stay in California. I knew that. But um, Jessup offered me, and I couldn't really turn it down. Yeah. yeah. Now, who was your head coach at, at uh, D.O.? Uh, Sean Huckabee. Okay, so he came after Takayama. Yes. Yes. I never had uh, Coach Taco, unfortunately. Coach Coach Taco, legendary. Amazing, yeah, amazing coach. Or as they say on that TV show, legend, wait for it, Derry. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) exactly. He was so good. Oh, yeah. Such a good guy. Uh, So compare and contrast playing the college game versus the high school game. What's the biggest difference? Oh, gosh, so much more physical. And the pace of the game is way more faster than. You know, high school is kind of easy. You could slow down. You could think a lot more of this. It's kind of just instinct. And, and of course, the girls probably 1 through 8, 1 through 10, maybe more athletic at this level than they are at the high school level. More size, too. Bigger, taller. Yeah. Yeah, all of that. Way more strong, too. (laughs) High school, we didn't lift. So So, so is the weightlifting helped you? Oh, yes, definitely. Corey, our strength training coach, has done amazing. We love her. Yeah, we do love her. Yeah. So, So how much time do you guys actually spend in the weight room versus on the court? Um, in season, we're only there two days a week, but, uh, out of season, it's usually three to four. And, and how much running slash conditioning do you do? Oh gosh, all of it. We run, we, we were a track team preseason. So. <laughs> Don't you love that? Oh yeah. Everybody loves to run. Oh yeah. I can't wait for it's it. It's so much fun. Yeah. Did they make you run around the court in a line and then blow the whistle and the last person runs to the front? We actually never did that. No, we do. Uh, yeah, I know. Don't tell oh, my let's coach, coach that. that. Yeah, because that was <laughs> exactly. me in high school playing Ooh. soccer, and I hated that yeah, drill. Yeah, soccer's Just, a lot more running, too. I hated that drill. So off the, off the basketball side, what's your favorite food? Oh, sushi. Sushi? Easily. Sushi. And, and yeah. you've got a spot that you like to go to? Uh, it's called Blue Nami. It's off of... I actually don't remember. Does it's it in matter? Roseville. You, yeah. you gave you gave I know them the love. in Roseville. So, so now when you get the sushi, is there certain types that you like better than others? Honestly, I love it all. I usually try and switch it up every time I go. Yeah. Different role. I like to experience different things. Okay. So. What's your favorite dessert? Mm, brownies. Brownies. Yeah. Uh, nuts or no nuts? No nuts. No nuts. Just Ice cream on top. Ice cream mm-hmm. on top. Maybe heat it up in the zapper oh, for about yes. 15, 20 seconds. Definitely. Give me some for that because <laughs> you're right on my wavelength on yeah, that. Exactly. Well, looking forward to the rest of the season. You guys are going to go play an exhibition down at UCD. Mm-hmm. Took care of business at Sac State. I know. We'll so see So can how we get to? Oh, yeah, definitely. We're going to get to? Yeah, I'm confident. Well, if you guys play like you did tonight, I'm thinking you will. <laughs> well, Next, thank you. thanks for joining me. Appreciate yes, it. Appreciate it. Thank All right. You. Great win. Natalie Mulos joining us here post-game at Jessup University, where, again, the Warriors enjoyed a nice 88-55 W. Put another one in the books, and as I said, they'll be off to UCD next week for an exhibition. And that'll do it from here.